Hey, okay, so welcome to my first video. We are gonna work into ARMS today. Um, ARMS is a great place to start. Um, it's a great place to see progress right away. Um, and um, I can do a fun routine too, so <laughs> let's do it. Um, what you're gonna need today is a set of two pounds or three pound weights. Um, maybe grab a little water, otherwise you don't need anything. Just grab those weights um, and just be ready for a good solid seven-ish minutes of um, arm work. We're gonna hit our tricep, which is this muscle right here, okay? We're gonna hit our bicep, which is the one up on the top. We're gonna to hit some shoulder work and a little chest. All right, so go find those weights. Uh, I'm gonna grab a set of three pound weights here. And we're gonna start working into the triceps first. So I want you to bring your elbows in nice and close. All right, that's really important. And I want you to imagine as we move these weights around, when you're doing a bigger movement, think 100 pounds. We're moving 100 pounds around and use extra resistance, okay? Um, Start to hinge yourself over, and I'm gonna to come to the side here so you can see. So when you hinge over, that's gonna help make sure that we access this tricep. I want you to pull your abs in nice and tight, bring those elbows off to the side. We're gonna go up and kick it back, forward and kick it back, okay? So I also want you to think about your shoulder blades. I want you to pretend that there's like a straw. Of course, it has to be a metal straw. We can't use plastic. Or paper. Okay. All right. So make sure you pretend there's like a straw or a chopstick or something in between your shoulder blades. So you're going to bring those shoulder blades right together. And we are squeezing. Keep going, even though I'm stopping. Keep going. We are squeezing like crazy from this muscle right here, our triceps. Let's do three. Let's do two. And one. I want you to hold it up at the top. Okay. Lift those arms a little higher. And now I'm going to come forward and see you a little better. So now this is what we're doing, working into small isometric movements, okay? Teeny tiny movements and hanging out in that place. We're fatiguing those muscles. So my numbers are up, okay? And I'm just adding that lift and lift, high as I can go. Starting to feel a little fatigue, a little shake. And I'm gonna flip those and my numbers, palms are open. And now we're just lifting from that flipped hand. Palms are open this time. Now just a static hold. So just hold and squeeze them together. Tiny squeezes in, in. I'm trying to squeeze that pencil, squeeze that straw right back behind me. And now lift up a little bit higher, add a bend and a big push. Bend and push. Good. Five, four, three, two. Static hold, lift it up. Good. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Release that. Excellent job, super. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to those biceps. I want you to take both weights in your right hand. Take your left hand on your hip. Now you wanna make sure that that elbow is in really nice and tight to the side. We're gonna go up and then three quarters down. Up and three quarters. So you've got about a fist distance between your knees, okay? So not open super wide, not tight up here. Just a nice, easy, easy stance. Little bend of the knees, up and down. If you want a little extra challenge, you can take that left arm, bring it off to the side. There you go. What that's gonna do is help to challenge your abs. That's gonna make those abs work a little bit harder as we're going through. All right, now we're gonna add a combo. It's gonna look like this. Good, so we're gonna bring it down, open the palm, close the palm. Good, adding in a little shoulder work here. So pressing up and down. Good, nice job. Three more of these with the two together. Little combo. Last one. Now stay here. Just drop, push. Here's where that 100 pounds comes into play. I'm pushing and pulling 100 pounds with my right shoulder. Good, we got three more, two more, and one more, come back down, bicep curl. But what I want you to do this time is bring the numbers up. Yeah, we're gonna add another combo in, okay? It's gonna look like this. Here, down, cross, back. Up, down, cross the body, back. There we go. Just find that pattern. If you're starting to feel that fatigue, you are in the right place. This is where our change happens, in those moments of discomfort. This is where it all comes from. Now isolate that, just the crossover. Cross, back, cross, back. Good, five, four, three, two, and one, good job. Wiggle that around a little bit, okay? Get some movement there. Let's switch sides. We're gonna take those in the left hand. We're gonna take our right hand on our hip, or again, you can take it off to the side, bicep curl. Good, still have that nice little bend of the knees. Still got my abs pulled in really tight. Bicep curls. 
Remember, we're gonna add on here with that shoulder overhead, looks like this. Here we go, here, 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 and back down. Up, and back down. Good. Now this next one, just isolate. Just down, push it up, down, push it up. Good, all that shoulder work. Again, we're thinking 100 pounds, pushing up and down. I want to maximize our time here. I mean, geez, we can add a little extra to it. We're already here. Let's do it. Two and one. Come back down. Hammer curls. So that means numbers up. That's how we differentiate between our bicep and our hammer curl and terminology, I guess. Numbers up. Remember, we're going to add on here. Okay, looks like this. Down, cross over, and back. Up. Good. Good, 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 everybody. Cross over. And we come up. And then we're going to isolate that crossover. Two more. Let's do one more full one, guys. One more full one. Here we go. Cross it over. Cross back. Good. You guys are doing an excellent job. All right. Here we go. Five. Four. Come on. Let's do this. Three. Two. And one. Excellent job. We're going to go back to that bilateral movement here. So wiggle those arms around again. I want you to bring them up into a field goal. All right, so another little combo. We go up, down, in, and out. Good, so coming back into the shoulders again and getting a little chest work as well. Up, good. What are we doing? How much weight are you pushing here? Remember, big movements, lots of weight. Good, push 100 pounds up, pull 100 pounds down, in and out. One more of these and then we isolate the chest press. So we go chest, out, to get chest, good, out. Are your abs pulled in? Do you have a little bend to your knees? Guess what? We are almost done with our routine. You got two more. Last one, I want you to hold it in the center. I always finish my sections with a finale, so that's what we've got right now. We're gonna extend our arms, our very tired arms, all the way out to straight. Drive. It's like a steering wheel. Yeah, you got this. You got this. We're gonna finish right here. Hang on to it. We're all together. Let's do this. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 for your arms, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great job, great job. Go ahead and drop yourself all the way over. Let those weights come gently down to the ground. Good. Inhale all your confidence. Exhale any doubt because you got this. All right. Cross your right arm over the body. I just want to stretch this out a little bit. Great job. Take your hand up. Give yourself a well-deserved pat, pat, pat. Beautiful, maybe even hinging over to the side. All right, release that. Left arm's gonna cross over. Stretch that shoulder, stretch that tricep. Take your hand up top, pat, you deserve it. Good job, all right, release that. Interlace your fingertips, round that back out. Maybe swing those arms back behind you. Interlacing one more time as you hinge forward and release another time. One more deep breath all together. We got this. Inhale up, exhale down. Have yourself a great day.